2008 Toyota Corolla. Okay, so welcome back, guys. Uh, today is once again Friday in California. If you're wondering why I'm sporting this uh, Christmas hat, today is uh, December the, the over. It's not auto focusing, but yeah, it's. Just trust me, it is uh, December the 23rd and uh, tomorrow is Christmas day and if you haven't heard enough of this, uh, I just want to say Merry Christmas. If you're watching it today, which is the day that the video is uploaded, you're probably watching this in uh, 2023 anyway, but yeah. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm gonna be dropping some gifts for you guys, uh, namely in terms of uh, top tips and after effects. I did this type of video a couple of years ago on Instagram and you know, I just thought like, hey, maybe it's gonna be fun to like rehash it and put it on YouTube. So yeah, here it goes. Uh, this is 10 pro tips and after effects that you might not know about. But yeah, let's get it. Okay, so first one, suppose you're in a shape layer, you select either the pen tool or any of the uh, shape tools over here. Uh, you're gonna draw out uh, just a single shape, but you know, if you look on top over here on the task screen, uh, you can switch from the uh, tool create shape to the uh, tool create mass function. And then by selecting any of those uh, previous tools, you can proceed to create mass on top of your shape layer within a single layer. Uh, I think this one it's pretty neat and up. Yeah, and it frustrates me as well that uh, it's been standing uh, in front of me this whole time and I didn't know about it. There is a hidden blur effect in After Effects that you might not know about. Uh, besides the uh, built-in blur effects in After Effects that you can find over here, you've also got the Mass Feather tool. So you just draw out a mass like this you know, suppose you have a mask and then you can head over here click and hold on this tool and you got the mask feather tool over here but this is gonna work as the same way as when you draw out the mask or the shape using specific points this one will create points on your mask and then it's gonna it's gonna dictate how big your blurring portion and each of the point is and you can draw it in and then another. so that means that when this point in this specific shape uh, of the mask over here when it gets to this point it's gonna be decreasing its own level of featherness you can also create points that goes outside of the mass area some percentage that's gonna go outside of the mass uh, area and some percentage over here is gonna go be uh, be uh, stretched back inside and look at that you got some uh, got some pretty good uh, overlap here off the edge this one's a cool party trick over here if you drag your layer properties onto the preview screen uh, those properties will appear on the screen as uh, text layers and those texts are going to display the values inside of those properties and when you adjust those uh, properties in the layer the text on the screen will be uh, updated and it will go up and down depends on uh, on how you adjust the properties and since these are text layers you can also change the uh, font and typeface and everything of the uh, the object the same way they can do with uh, a normal text layer. Uh, it's pretty cool. Shout out to Good Boy Ninja for this one. On the search bar of the project panel, you can actually locate uh, multiple missing assets. Just head to the project search bar, type in either missing or missing footage or missing assets, and you know, right click on them, reveal and composition, and it will show you where the missing footage was used. Uh, on the other hand, you can also find which of your assets are used in the project simply by typing use in the search bar. I don't find much use for this one however 
If you want to enlarge a portion of your workspace to the full size of your monitor, simply hover your cursor uh, over the area you wish to enlarge, press this key, and then that working space will be enlarged to a full screen on your monitor. And if you want to size it back down, just press the button again. Uh, I didn't know what this key was until Matthew and Cena jumped in to the rescue and let me know that it was actually called the tilde key. And thank you so much for this, uh, Mr. Cena. Uh, English was never my first language anyway, so yeah. Here's a pretty neat one, I use it a lot. Uh, if you want to scale up every single component in your entire composition, selecting all of them and then hitting S won't work since some layers have different anchor points and relative to their positions. But the better way to go around it would be to parent them all into a new null and then scale the null up and that way the whole composition will all scale up and since the null anchor points will always be in the center of the composition or in the center of that null, it will all scale up from there. Another feature that's going to be a huge time saver if you work on a big project is a central graphics workspace. You can put on there multiple properties from multiple layers that you can change around in the future as well as in uh, different comps. So you know you can have one comp this way and one comp uh, with the property that way. So you don't have to scour for the right comps and then open up the layers again to find those properties. Uh, I shouted out scope motion in my old video and I'm gonna shout them out again. Uh, they have a pretty awesome tutorial uh, showing how you can use uh, master properties using this uh, workspace to create multiple variations of your initial composition. So make sure you check it out. If you want your effects to only happen within the vicinity of a mask, then in the drop down menu of that effect, uh, click on the plus sign and in the uh, mask reference tab, uh, select which mask you like to link the effect to. And within the mask uh, will be the same object but with the effects added on top. And changing the properties of the mask will also change which area of the, set of the object the uh, effects will be applied to. And you can do this with uh, multiple masks. The minus button, uh, on the other hand, decrease the amount of mass the effects applies to. You can actually hide layers away in your timeline uh, simply by selecting one or multiple uh, layers in your composition and enabling the shy function in your timeline. Then you can use the shy toggle uh, within those layers and when this uh, thing is toggled over here and you come back to the timeline you can actually hide stuff away and it will be disappearing from view and then it's gonna look like you're gonna have a much cleaner timeline and you highlight all of them obviously and click on and if you hide them again boom everything is gone and for the final tip of the day, I have made uh, multiple videos on this technique and I'm gonna measure it again. Uh, you can parent one path uh, of a mask or a shape to another path of a mask or a shape in either the same or different shape layers. And whatever points you move on the parents, uh, those points in the children path will also be moved accordingly. The only thing you need to be aware about is that uh, this will cancel out any shapes you had in the layer prior to the parenting operation and replace it with the parented shape. And yeah, that was my personal top 10 tips for After Effects. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite present that you got from Santa this year. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.